Yo 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 guys, welcome back to Game Life and it's your boy Pal still playing Genshin Impact and right now we're going to be talking about something that's really important and a lot of people don't actually uh, pay attention to but it is food. Yes, it is food and if we're going to be checking out our inventory, um, food is one of the best actually items and actually to complement your uh, journey here in the world of Teyvat and um, just talking about food and you know you need to know pretty much which is the good food that after you might start to be investing in like um, so let's go here to our, our um, and we're gonna be prompted to cook so pretty much what are really really good food to actually like invest in it's actually this one is definitely one of your best uh, recipes which is jade parcels which is actually gonna be a um, you know, you could get it when you, on the Xingyang quest. It only uses one ham, two cabbages, two joint chili, and three uh, lotus heads. But, you know, that's going to give you a lot of damage. You see attack and a lot of crit rate by 6 to 10. But there are other foods that you actually want to be looking into. It's pretty much this one. The one here, the cold cut platter. And um, this one... Uh, the cold cut platter, the come and get it, and uh, and pile them up, because all of these other dishes actually actually boost most of your stuff in the game, which is actually crit and attack. Why is it so important to actually like uh, be looking into these things, and because these things actually supplement what your gear can't give you at the moment. If your gear can't give you uh, the proper artifact. The proper artifacts can give you uh, pretty much uh, good items, I mean uh, good stats, especially in crit rate and in attack. Food can definitely supplement that when you're tackling something that is hard, when you're going into a domain that is going to kill you or flop tap you out. And I'm just telling you that eating some of these food, for example this one, the jade parcels, and uh, maybe the golden crab. Or something more lower like the fisherman's toast even the fisherman's toast is actually gonna help you because they give you a little bit of defense inside the domain so pretty much uh, if, if you're like uh, pretty much struggling to actually uh, fight some things especially when you are in a place where it's very hard for you at a certain level in the game I do think that like supplementing your your party with food is actually gonna help you actually uh, overcome all of those obstacles especially when you are under leveled or lacking in gear so pretty much this is why like for me I actually like try to focus on damage um, critical damage rather than critical rate because critical rate can be supplemented by stuff in like uh, in food like this one because you could get 10 to 20 percent critical rate for five minutes here if you use that so pretty much if I go into a domain and I feel that I'm missing a little bit of critical rate in my in my character because let's say my character is currently missing some some crit rate, which is like I'm at 48%. And if I feel that I'm missing that, I will just pop on some food. So this is gonna give, get me up up to probably about 68%, and I'm my uh, my damage will be definitely more consistent. Anyway, that's something that I just wanted to talk about. And Mr. Boy Pao, if this content actually uh, helps you or, or you know, uh, help you, please do drop us a like and subscribe. And it's your boy Pao again saying thank you and see you in the next one.